Hi there, I'm Bruce. Today I'm going to show you how I made this modern wine rack out of a single sheet of plywood. The guys over at Modern Maker Podcast challenged everybody to a one sheet of plywood challenge. They wanted a bunch of people to create things around one kind of idea. And that idea is using one sheet of plywood. They said obviously you can add other things in it. Uh, I happen to use some walnut dowels and some, a few different items, but most of it needs to come from one sheet of plywood. So I'll have a link below to a playlist that they're creating on YouTube with all of those entries, as well as you could hop on over to Instagram and search for hashtag Rockler Plywood Challenge, and there's already a bunch of posts there. I started out with a sketch. It took me a couple of iterations, but I got to what I wanted eventually. I had them cut the plywood down into some pieces at Home Depot so I could get them in my car, but the plywood was severely warped, so I had to weigh it down to try to keep it as flat as possible. I started measuring out where everything would go, starting with the stemware and moving on to the bottles themselves. I trimmed the large front piece to size on my table saw. Then, I used the template I sketched on to mark where all of the holes needed to be drilled. I drilled out as many of them as possible on the drill press, but I had to move to hand drilling soon thereafter. This was my first time using a data stack, but after getting it dialed in, it was very easy to use. After all of the holes were drilled, I used some tape on the front side of the holes to mask off so I could paint the inside of the holes. I used Montana black paint, and if you've never tried it out, it is definitely worth the hype. The coverage is considerably better than most other paints. When I was first trying to put this together, I could tell that there was something midway in the hole here that was holding the bottles, but everything I tried, when I put the bottle in, it would either sit level or it would be canted down a little bit and that's not what I wanted even though I think gravity would hold it because it holds the, the neck of the bottle I wanted it to be up slightly so I, I worked with it and worked with it and figured out there needed to be a distance between this hole and where the bottle is held so what I ended up doing was I've just got a piece secured here temporarily to show you there is a line of spacers here which is three quarter inch and then the piece that holds the neck of the bottle. So what ends up happening is that distance creates what is needed to put it in and hold it at an angle. And so this stays secure and that's at the angle that I wanted it to be. I marked some lines all the way around the front so I could add some dowels. Then I set a flag on my drill with some tape so I would know how deep to go with the drill. So much hammering. using jumped out of the hole kind of and marred the surface in a couple spots pretty deep this one's a good half inch out of the hole so I was trying to brainstorm 
how I could fix it and turn it into kind of an accent piece. I wasn't quite sure uh, I was going to maybe use a different Forstner bit to just do a hole off the side of this. I called my buddy Doug from DN Handcrafted. If you don't already follow his channel, you need to. But he and I kind of tossed back some ideas back and forth and he came up with a cooler idea. And he's like, you have a laser engraver. Why don't you use it to create a ring out of the same contrasting material, walnut, and just make it an accent right around that hole. So that's exactly what I did. Uh, mocked it up in some different cheaper wood and then used some walnut plywood for this little piece. And I really liked the way it came out. I sanded the piece all the way to 220 grit and then applied some brushing lacquer. I wiped on the first coat, then sanded in between with 320 grit, and then I brushed on another couple of coats. a leather logo patch to the side for decoration and secured it with upholstery tacks. I think this added a nice touch. So this project turned out pretty cool. I like the way it looks. I used some walnut dowels for accents on this plywood. This is just pine plywood and I wanted to have some exposed plies but not the whole thing be exposed so on the edges here i used uh, kind of a half lap rabbit so it shows some of the ply that was my first time doing a rabbit kind of like that with a dado stack so that was a challenge i've got dowel joinery that's going down into the side pieces there are no mechanical fasteners in this it's just glue and then the dowels as you can see there's room for a lot more wine storage on here i didn't stack it totally up but you could. I used a French cleat on the back just because I knew if you put a decent amount of wine bottles on this, you were going to have a lot of weight on there. I used kind of a Tiffany blue color on the inside of each of these holes. So it's just a nice subtle pop of color that you see come out. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. I'd love to read them. If there's a suggestion you have of what I could have done to make this a little better or different, I'd be glad to hear that as well. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click here and get subscribed and click that notification bell. That way each time I upload, you'll be able to see it. And I'll put a couple more videos here and here that you can check out. And I'll see you next time.